Hey, Roulette Fools. Happy Thursday. Next day. I call it next day, remember? Because tomorrow's Friday. That's the next day. So almost to the weekend for you. Brent with AOB. We had a, another monster day yesterday. I got a bet in here. We're going to hit the Excel sheet here in just a second, go over it. But I wanted to get some of these at least three uh, $9 bets going here while we could. So a monster day yesterday. We ended up with a total profit yesterday of 3,265. Now to be fair, 300, I think on the dot, was our first roulette session yesterday where we got to 300 in under 13 minutes. So that was awesome. The rest of it was on uh, Stake Originals, which was a split between roulette and dice. So hopefully, if you haven't seen that video, it posted up this early this morning around 7 a.m. Pacific time. Anyway, there was four sessions of dice and there were four sessions of roulette uh, to see how it worked out. In the end, we had a really bad session of roulette, which when I say bad session, we were able to recover. But instead of the goal was to see how many times we could get to three hundred dollars. All previous seven sessions, four of the dice and three of the roulette, we got to three hundred dollars. And in fact, four hundred and five hundred dollars on a couple of them. But the last session of roulette on the digital was um, we got down and we were lucky to get up by $100 and I quit at that point. Uh, so th that's where a good bulk of this, you know, outside of $300 came. Our rake back yesterday was huge. It was like 100 and it's the most rake back I've had to date. It was like 170 bucks or something. It was insane. So the rake back was huge. And then we had our daily uh, redemption of 86 bucks. So between those two, there was about $300 in bonus money yesterday. So 600, the rest of this came from the digital. I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying. Most of you are saying, hey, we love the dice. We would love to see more of that. Some of you are saying, hey, we want, we're here for the roulette challenge. I get it, I'm hearing you all. So that's why I'm breaking them out. That's why that dice went separate and i'm breaking the videos out number two i totally understand on the digital dice right uh that that's definitely scary it's not something at that level that i'm going to be doing moving forward if i do anything it'll be much 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 lower bets and i will not be risking like i did in the last couple of days so sorry not sorry to those that you were you know like living on the edge of your pants but you know, it, it just gets because you're clicking a button and you're not watching the wheel. It's just too easy to click forward. And then you look up and you're betting two thousand, four thousand dollars on these digital, you know, the computer is controlling it all. And so I feel very fortunate. But the numbers are going to go way down just so we can see how the dice works. But it won't be I don't say we'll never do that because, well, you know me, how often do I stick to the plan? <laughs> but Roulette is my number one focus, uh, and I said that in the videos previous on yesterday. This is where we're going to go at it. I'm still debating up in the air exactly what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to take the money from the dice. Most, Almost all of you said, don't worry about it. 100K is 100K, however we get there. And I feel like if you go back and watch the dice videos, I had to risk a lot to get there. So had I lost, it would have come out of the main bucket anyway. And the the percentages, if you look at the win-loss percentages, are right there for the most part at three. Dice had some episodes that were a little bit above three and one or two that were below three. Roulette was pretty much spot on with about 2.7% win-loss average. So in that respects, I feel like it's all fair game. You know, I took the risk, I had to go down just like I had to in roulette in the past. So hopefully everybody's on board with that. And if, anyway, hopefully everybody's on board with that. And like I said, I'll be breaking them out so that we still have our roulette. Our goal will be to hit the $300. I will no longer, like in two days video go, I will never lo no longer switch to another platform to win back. If we're down 1500 bucks in roulette, we either make it back in roulette or we take the loss in roulette. So I will not separate that. My goal is $300 a day, like it always has been. 
So I'm gonna prove it out and maybe even the Excel sheet, I'll, uh, I will make it better so that we can see the daily goal amount and I'll go back and look at the roulette videos and, uh, and see, or the dice video, see exactly how much we made electronic dice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count the electronic roulette because it's roulette and I, yeah, even then, because I mean, I promise live dealer, so we'll see. I personally think the digital stuff is far riskier than the real life stuff here. So to me, if I were a naysayer, I'd be like, yeah, go play as much dice as you want. <laughs> go play as much stake original digital stuff as you want because that's risky. We know how that's going to come out. So, you know, I guess it just depends on how you look at it. Anyway, your feedback is always important to me. If I, I'm trying to respond to everybody, if I don't respond, it's not that it's going unheard and I try to address it every day. So please continue with responses. You are what drives a lot of what I do here. Uh, someone mentioned, yeah, that I'm not live. I wasn't showing stuff live so I could refill my account. So uh, in between spins here, I will show you the transaction history to prove that there has not been nothing in or out of the account. What we have was all from plain. And number two, <laughs> we were live yesterday. We streamed live from Discord yesterday. So, and I'm planning on streaming live on YouTube uh, as I learn more, but I'm, I've got a lot of irons in the fire, so I'm still trying to, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure things out. We're just gonna go back down to a nine street reverse. We've got a nice 102 gain right now while we get a couple spins on this new dealer. So your feedback does not go unheard. And I know some of you out there, like I said, are really just wanting to see the roulette. And so that's why I'm going to keep this roulette challenge going. I just haven't, I think I'll go ahead and keep for right now, the money that's earned in dice or money that's earned in digital roulette. We'll keep it in the bucket, but I will figure a way to start breaking that out. So at least we know how much was earned in live sessions and how much wasn't. Okay. So hopefully that's, everybody's agreeable to that, but just give me a hot minute so I can get my feet under me and get all this stuff because I really am focusing on learning more about Discord and getting my live streams going on there, which I should actually be live streaming right now. So when we take a break, I'll probably jump over and live stream this as well. And moving forward, just live stream directly on YouTube. So figuring all that stuff out, give me a hot minute. I promise we will get there and I'm trying to keep track and show for 100% transparency everything that we're doing so that everything is on the up and up and it's all legit. So I think outside of I think outside of that one session I had on digital roulette where I made $1,000 yesterday and then I posted in the video, I posted uh, actually a screenshot of that session so that you could see it was, it was I actually played it. I'll, I'll try to refrain. I, I went in there, I was thinking I was just going to play a couple and then it was going so well, I decided to stick through it and see if I could get $1,000 like I was doing on Dice and it turned out that I could in the same amount of time. So I went with it and I, at the time the video, that, that day's video was uh, rendering. Awesome, come on, what's happening here? All right, there we go. All right. But at least it kept our win. Okay. All right. Let's bump up. We did two spins at nine. Let's see if we can hold. Anyway, I'm just trying to make sure whether you like dice or you don't like dice that you feel like everything is being documented recording, that there's no weird jumps in anything. Um, let's go up here transactions is that where it'll be yeah so if you go up here to transactions this is exactly the same as it was last time i showed you i'll come back to this because i want to make sure we're not missing out on the game oh crap i guess did we miss out on the game <laughs> did we awesome good job Brent. the bet was placed so we should win or lose no matter what i don't know we'll see Well, here we go again. Um, well, it rolled a nine, so even though this didn't record it, we should have 
Where's our balance? Uh, there it is. Let's make this bigger. I don't know. 24530. We'll see after this win where we're at. And I'll go back to that transaction history so that everybody can see that. All right, here we go. That's not even working, is it now? Okay. That's all right. Let's see. Let's write this down. 24710. There's our daily, we're set back to zero. We are at $200, 201. So we're kicking ass this morning. Let's see if we can get straight through in another 13 minutes today. That would be awesome. All right, all right, all right, all right. Going straight through, I mean, like I said also, I want to keep going roulette because you can't go play dice in the casinos in, unless they have some sort of digital. I've never seen it like that. So I'm pretty sure they don't have it, right? So this is part of this was to prove that you could do it and that you could go into the casino, albeit you're most likely going to play a double zero wheel. Please don't play triple zero double zero wheel so you are going to increase your odds so it won't be as productive your obviously your risk certainly increases man alive look at that so we're at 246 right now this is worthless so might as well shut this off we're at 246 right now so we're kicking ass so one more win here and we can Never mind, I'm going to say it because every time we do that, this shit goes downhill. <laughs> Hopefully, if everybody's had a great week, I'm really, I'm really loving the Discord channel. So if you haven't gotten onto the Discord channel, the link is in the description. Go join up the Discord. It's just a group of great people helping each other, sharing. It's uh... <laughs> there it is. What I what I miss about this is that we lose our win loss ratio, right? So I like seeing that, but we know we only have one loss. Anyway, it's it's amazing. I love it over there. People are streaming. Multiple people are streaming their what's going on in their world with different games and different strategies and showing how they're setting things up. So give it a shot, you know. And it's not it's not one. You know, to me, I don't consider this channel any one person's. This and the, the, the Discord. I mean, this is a community. I, I truly. There we go. All right, let's get it back. Let's get it back. All right, come on now. We need this one to get, so we need two more wins at this level again. This one will get us back to even. And then we'll... Break down to a $45 bet to take us home. So if we win this again, we'll be at 246. If we win a second time, we'll be at 291. And then we'll be $9 away. Maybe we'll, we'll bump it all the way down to $9 bets and get three wins instead of going for 45. Okay, okay, okay. One more now, one more. Ooh, really miss our wonderful graph over there. You know what I'm saying? All right. And with all this on the line, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about I'm hungry. What am I going to have? And that's really why I don't rush this along. I want to be like... Now, I will tell you, the one thing I hate about this $300 is that when we get it in 13 minutes, I want to play. And so... <laughs> The dice and all that stuff, I mean, it's kind of exhilarating at first, but it's it's super boring to me. This is fun to me. I could literally just, I don't know, there's something different about it that I could, oh, come on now. Grr. All right. So we won one, we lost one, won one. Did we win one or two? Did we, did we get back to... Um, what am I, what are you doing, yo-yo? Not up there. 
Okay, so at least we got back to even, then we lost. So we don't have to leave it at the 270 level twice again. We only need to leave it once, so that's good. Oh no! Jerky jerk, all right. All right, we're at 540. If we lose this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the page and refresh and log back into stake. That fixes that problem. If any of you ever have that, just close the window. You don't even have to log out. Just close the window, the browser tab, launch back in or, or even just refresh the page and that'll get the graph working again. So we'll, we'll come in and at least we'll know where we need to be and at least have a graph moving forward. Okay, good thing we switched up to 134. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now let's see, try to remember what we gotta do. I think we can, try to remember if we have to stay twice at 134 or twice at the 540. Let's see, that's we can go to our trusty Excel sheet. So, cumulative loss was 405. Yeah, we need to stay here at this because this will be 360 if we win this one. Then we need to drop down to 135 and that'll break us even. So we need to win twice at 540 then drop it once down at the base. So let's really hope we can get this one. Phew, okay. Now we gotta go to 135 and this would break us even. It's okay losing those as long as you win the big ones, right? As long as you win the big ones. Man, the weather's been gorgeous out here. Uh, yesterday, the last couple days, so it's supposed to be uh, like 70 this weekend. So we're gonna head out to what we call the gorge, which is where the big Columbia River comes all the way from Eastern Oregon on all the way up through. Yes, so we're even, I believe we need one more. 24755, was that, was that where we were at? Okay, we're at 246 again. Anyway, it's a big, it's awesome. It's where the glaciers and rocks carved out this huge, think of it as a really tiny Grand Canyon with a really big river, the Columbia River going through it. So we're gonna go out there probably Saturday. They have uh, some great little quaint towns out there, Hood River, where people do a lot of the sites, uh, kite sailing and uh, whatnot, Sir, uh, you know, sailing with the wind, wind sailing. Anyway, but the kite where they have the big, uh, yeah. Nice, look at that. Okay, we're gonna play it safe right here. We're gonna drop down to $9. We need three wins to get us exactly at $300. So anyway, we're gonna go out there, do some, go to the wine, go to do a little bit of wine tasting, go to Deschutes Brewery, and they have great burgers and fries there. Mm. French fries, right? That's where it's at. So many places fuck up because their French fries suck. You could have the greatest burger in the world. If I go in there and you have the greatest burger and you bring out me some limpy fry, you know what? Send it back. I don't want any limp dick fry with grease. Uh, no, I want a nice, there's one, we need two more. I want a nice crispy fry, right? Almost like the, I love the double fry. Anywho's, so we're gonna go out there. They have good burgers, good fries, good beer and visit some family, maybe go on a hike and see what it's like out there. Who's talking about fucking food? Didn't I just say I'm hungry? Enough with the food talk, especially something like burgers and french fries. It's only, it's only 8.38 in the morning. You people. <laughs> Nice, there's two. Yeah, talking about food. So my dad's side of the family's Chinese, right? Let me tell you about Chinese. First of all, if you've ever sat down at a big round table with Chinese people, it's loud as fuck. It's like they're talking across the table at each other, 
They're on their phones at the same time. And if they can't hear that person because these two people are talking louder, you know what they do? They talk even fucking louder, right? So it's like this cold war where it's just escalating, you know, it's going up. Who can get more than, and meanwhile, yeah, and men are like, they're talking on their, and they're doing their phone and it's crazy. And meanwhile, dishes of Chinese food are just arriving in the middle of the table, right? It's amazing. I think that's three, right? Let's see here, 24809. There, my friends, is $300 in 20 minutes. Now, to be all fair, I like this. So even though I'm going to call it a session right now, I got to tell you, I'm going to come back and play more of this. I don't like these 20-minute sessions, and I'm done for the day. I want to play. So even though we hit our 300 today, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to see. I'm going to push our limit to 500 with the exception that I'll play much slower and I'll be much more careful uh, on that second session. But you'll definitely see a few more sessions added to this. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a great uh, Thursday. Be good humans. Be good to each other. Join our Discord, please. It's a great community. You'll learn a lot there, a lot more than you're going to learn from this punk. So anyway, we'll see you later. Cheers. Hey, Roulette Fools. Decided to come back for a second session. If you'll recall, we just left off with $300 profit for the day, but I'm not going to leave it off at $300 today. I want to push on and see if we can get another two or $300. Not because I want the money, because I want to play. <laughs> and I don't want to play with gold coins. I want to play with the real deal. There's a little bit of rush involved, right? So let's see if we can get going and, and have some luck here. Okay, there's one. We're going to start off with a couple of $9 bets as has been the case most of the time recently. My mom, she likes this, these jerky bits. I don't know if you can see these. They're like almost like little, you know, the pepperoni sticks that you buy in 7-Eleven or almost like a Slim Jim, except these came in a bag and they're, man, they're super greasy. I. I, I think these are worse than hot dogs. I don't think these are just lips and assholes. I think these are the hot dogs that fell on the floor or didn't meet quality inspections. And they made these out of those. Good thing we went nine. Look at that. Let's see, 27, nine, 19. I actually feel like 134 is calling my name, but we'll go here. Anyway. So I've got this whole, she gave me a whole little bowl of them to snack on. You need to eat. So I'm like, yeah, I don't need to eat. Anyway, uh, it's not that they taste all that bad. They, don't, they, they, they taste okay. They're not a great, you know, they're not a really good jerky. I prefer the flat jerky that's not too dry but not too wet. I want to be able to chew it a little bit. These are just chomp, chomp, chomp. They're gone. Oh, The question you should be asking isn't, why am I eating this? The question you should be asking is, why am I still eating this? Or why are you planning to eat the whole thing? Because I am planning on eating the whole thing. So, all right, here we go. Going in. Let's see how we go. Mmm. Mmm. I'm chewing really softly. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can get to uh, another 300. At least 200. I'd love to have a five or six hundred dollar day. If you haven't seen the other video yet on today's uh, steak originals, which is roulette and dice, uh, I am updating the spreadsheet to break out all of the dice winnings versus the roulette winnings now. At the end of the year, 100,000 is 100,000. However, we get to the profit on line gambling. But I do want to break out the roulette winnings because my goal and my mission is still get to 100,000 just playing roulette. And the reason why I'm going to keep the 100,000 no matter what is because if I go play dice, and let's just say I were to lose $10,000 over there on dice, I don't think too many people would be here be like, well, that was a different game, so that doesn't count towards your uh, 
towards your bank account balance here or our stake balance here. I think you'd all be going, no, that counts. You you played, you lost. The percentage wins are the same. So, but I am going to show a difference. Right now, it has been over there really, really easy to make money. I shouldn't say really easy. We got in the hole deep a few times. I've been in today's sessions. I'm, I've been recording today's dice and roulette stake original sessions already. I'm in six sessions, three of dice, three of roulette. And I'm being way more cautious. I've lowered the bet. Uh, I'm not doing the $9. I'm back down to the $3 like we did yesterday. But being way, going slower and being more cautious did get in a little minor trouble. Nothing over, uh, nothing like in the thousand or whatever. But I think the biggest bet over there was maybe 600 or something along those lines. But I'm going to put a stop loss over there of probably 3,000. Whatever our, our balance is for making money on dice, I figure at least half to three quarters of that money will be my stop loss limit over there. I think that's very fair and it still gives us positive money over there. But it'll be interesting. I'll have that all broken out, not by the end of this session, obviously, but I plan on playing. If I stop this session and come back, I'll have the Excel sheet broken out. You'll see where I'm at with it right now when I show it at the end here. All right, 180. Rolling, 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 rolling. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh, Damon. Damon. I remember you, Bell. I remember you from last time. Demon Seed. Demon Seed Damon. Well, he's being good to us being good to us and yes I am being careful on dice I am gonna do a session later tonight where I put it on auto but I'm gonna take almost all of my money out of the, the playable cash and put it into the vault and there's a loss dang it and leave only a couple hundred maybe three hundred dollars of playable money I just finished setting up a auto algorithm I'm curious to see how it plays out. So haven't used it yet, so we'll see. We're only gonna put pennies into it and just let it run and see how long we can go before it stops. Before it crashes, I figure $300 is not, you know, we're up significantly. In fact, let's go take a look at where we're at. Okay, so you can see down here, I'm tracking, these are the profits we've won from stake Originals, 63.10. You can see today, I've, I've done four sessions. I've won $100 each. Now, I'm not getting crazy into the dollars and cents, okay? So in other words, on those sessions, I'm winning $101, $103. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna try to keep track that hard because what I'm doing is I'm going back through the videos and I'm looking at the ending and so. One dollar, three dollars. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so that's where we stand right now. Before today, when I'm done with today, however many sessions I do on dice or whatever, we will add here. And so, like right now, we'd be at sixty-five ten. I will just I'll show the total profit, but I'm going to show the total profit from dice and roulette. So this number will show a hundred thousand dollars at the end of the year. Okay, fair. Everybody good with that? Thank you. All right, here we roll. Let's go, come on. We're doing well, we're up another 180 right now. I mean, we could stop right there and we'd be up $480 for the day. That's good, that's good. It's really nice having this cushion right here, right? The $6,200, obviously when we subtract this, this will be slightly below, but considering this was negative I'll have to go look at some of the videos, right? This was negative, it was thousands, right? We, roulette alone, we have caught up to that. So we are at our, we will be at our daily goal easily today. Ugh, demon seed. You know what, I'm just feeling one, three, four. I should have switched over when a long time ago we would have 
We wouldn't have lost a single one if we were playing one, three, four. <laughs> Hindsight, I'm just kidding. It doesn't, I mean, gut feeling is about as reliable as a politician's word, you know, so whatever. Um, all right, it's a beautiful day. So I kind of want to finish up these sessions quick and get outside. Get my workout in, get some other things. I have still haven't, whew. Look at that. Good thing we didn't stick with one, two, three, huh? I still haven't done my fucking taxes yet. It's 11th. All right. I got to finish all the roulette here quickly by one and then go outside and get some stuff. And tonight is all business. Oh, I forgot the live stream, didn't I? Let's uh, kick over here. Streaming, turn on camera, share your screen, screens, go, li um, go live. All right, I think we're going live streaming anyway. Who knows? Uh, 22, all right, it's another win. Come on, Demon Seed. Let us break the ceiling. Look at that. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we're live streaming. I think it's being shown. I don't know. Or does it show up here? I don't know. We'll see. I think everybody by default's muted in this. And we'll unmute when we have some admins in there that can control it just in case somebody gets in there and starts being obnoxious. We'll need someone to mute it. When it's just me by myself, I don't... I don't have to be back and going back and forth to mute people. So apologies for that. But I would like it to be where it's everybody's chatting. That that's to me what makes the live really enjoyable. There we go. There we go. We busted it. So there's our $200 mark. So we're at 525. So let's see if we can get to 600 here today. Let's go. See, I am not abandoning roulette. I am not abandoning roulette for that digital junk over there. It's been interesting. That's more of an experiment to me, but it's not fun. You're just clicking a button and watching, you know, I don't know. It's just not enjoyable to me. Monetarily, it's doing good. I'm enjoying that. I mean, $100 in three minutes is pretty awesome. I mean, you could do it here too if we, if we had three spins in a row at this bet. But yes. All right, 270. We're going to drop down to $45 bet. Protect our bankroll a little bit. And if we can grab two wins here, awesome. If we don't, it doesn't hurt us too bad. We're crushing it today. I mean, we've been crushing it the last couple of days, haven't we? So, you know what that means. Anytime the pendulum swings one side, it will return the other direction. We got to be prepared for it. And I can't say that I won't chase a little bit or I won't bet some big bucks, but I promise I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole and, and push away all of our uh, surplus. Okay, <laughs> maybe I might. <laughs> There's one. We need one more. This is amazing. All right, one more. Come on now. I may come back and do a third session later tonight if I get a good way under my taxes and whatnot. But right now what I'm thinking I'd like to do is go ahead and render and upload this video so that I can schedule it to come and I don't have to be worrying about that tonight. So we'll probably call it quits on the roulette, the live roulette and finish off. If we're fortunate enough to get this next win or at least finish off with 300 here, that would finish us off with 600. All right, come on, Demon Seed. Let's go. Show us the money <laughs> of course not you little brat that's all right at least it was 45 you know so i'm gonna go 134 for 135 instead of 90 this would win back that loss in one spin and we're still up 240, so even at 135, right? 
we're still up nicely. We'd still be up 105 bucks. And if we cho choose to, we could call it a session and be up 100 and come back and come back in a little bit. So we'll see how this goes. All right, all right, all right. No, you little punk. You little punk. All right. So much for being one win away, right? That's how it goes. Maybe you heard me calling him Demon Seed. Or his father heard him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Come on. Give us a couple here now. We need to win twice at this level and then once back down. So come on. Okay, there's a win. That's what we needed. There we go. Okay. I see Tahota's in here. He's one of our fellow All in Black members. Let's see what we can do. Oh man, you know what I should tell you about? I should tell you about the horrors I had growing up with my dad cooking. Now, for Chinese food at night, hey, a great cook. But in the morning, he had the strangest fucking desires. I mean, I remember we'd get up when we were young, and if my mom, for whatever reason, wasn't around, she was working, or, or for whatever reason, my dad was... Oh, come on, dude. That sucked. All right, maybe we should get out of there. I'm going to go reverse. What was that bet? Was that a 270? Damn it, it was, wasn't it? I'm just going to go 135. Nah. Okay, let's go. Anyway. <laughs> so I remember the first time, get up, and my dad's in charge of breakfast. We're getting ready to go for school. I mean, I was probably in second grade or something, and... He hands me this bowl and it's got warm milk in it, right? And I'm like, a bowl of warm milk. And I'm thinking to myself, there must be porridge in there or uh, something, right? So, ugh. We're getting clobbered here. We're getting absolutely demolished. All right, we're going to go. Anyway, so... I'm sitting at a table with this born warm milk and I like take a little sip and it's sweet. It's like he put sugar in there, right? As I start putting my spoon in there, there's a fucking raw egg in there. And it's not like he even cooked it. It's not like he brought the milk to a boil. He warmed up the milk in the pan, poured it in a bowl, cracked a raw egg on it. <laughs> and he knew at that time I did not like runny shit. I didn't like runny yolk. I didn't like any jiggly white stuff. To this day, I don't like the jiggly white stuff, but I've... Forced myself to learn to eat sunny side up, and now I really, really like runny yolk. But can you imagine the horror of being a little kid and putting your face into that bowl and spooning it up to your mouth, and you look down, and here is this disgusting, gross... We're just going to play through this. We're going to play through this, because we're going to bite down. Let's go. Let's go. Anyway... My dad sits down and he's got the same thing and he's just eating it up, the egg and all, and loving it. So, needless to say, that was not the first time my brother and I had to sit through that. I can remember getting up on those mornings and my dad's cooking breakfast and I could see him in the, in the kitchen and <laughs> over a pan warming up some milk and I'm like, oh fuck, no, please, no. It's like that episode of, uh, what did we do here? Did we do reverse? We did. It's like that episode of uh, The Office where Michael learns that Toby's, Toby's come back from, and he works there again. He's like, no, God, no. That's exactly how I felt at that moment. What is that warm milk and eggs? And I mean, that wasn't the end of it. I, I, can, I can tell you. He served us some really crazy shit growing up. 
I mean, on one hand, I'm glad because now, awesome. Here we go. I did a 270 bet on that one. 195. Growing up now, I can eat anything. I, I love, there's very few things I've already discussed with you. Green bell peppers, you know, alfalfa sprouts. That's usually the extent of the things that I think are absolutely disgusting in this world. Everything else I can sit down. I don't care where you're from. I'll sit down and I'll love it. I mean, I've been all over the place and I love food from everywhere. It's been kind of tough, uh, you know, Mrs. AOB, she's actually pretty open to stuff, but she's got a little bit more of a, how do I say this without getting in trouble? She's got, ooh, I thought it was going to hit the one. I was like, no. All right, look at that, 240. Okay. All right, see? Mm, mm, punching a side of beef. All right. Anyway, she's got a little bit more of a... I don't want to call it a fine-tuned, you know. Um, okay, let's just call it what it is. She's can, she can be picky, but it's not picky like in, ooh, it's just like she's very deliberate. No, I don't like that. That's okay. That's okay. It's tough, though, because she doesn't like raw fish, and I love sushi. So she's agreeable, though. We go out. She'll find something on there, right? Uh, something that's cooked, you know. No! Come on! All right, all right, let's go. Okay, deja vu right here, right? This is right where we at, right here. <laughs> one, one, then dropped it. So let's see if we can win this. Who brought up food again? I thought I told you guys no food talk because now I'm freaking hungry and all I got is these lips and asshole seconds, factory seconds. Mm. All right. Nothing tastes as good as bean thin feels. Whew. Thought it was going to hit the, the one. Okay. All right. Let's go back. I was tempted to leave it at 270 and get us back up to, you know, 185, 285 within striking range, but let's just keep it tight. We've only been playing for 21 minutes. So if we can get there, 21, I think the last video was really short too, 20 minutes or so. So if we can do this in under an hour and have $600, that's two days worth. Maybe this will satisfy, satisfy those of you who are like, oh, thank God, another short video. And those are saying, man, come on, where's the longer videos? I don't know if you like the longer videos or you just like seeing the deep shit that I get us into. <laughs> And how, and if we could get out or not, right? Oh. Okay, this is redonkulous. 20. Good Lord. Okay, who is this? Lila. All right, I'll stop talking so much. I'm actually in a really good mood. We're doing really well. Um, I've been enjoying this so much. I have been seriously contemplating. We got to do this twice now. We don't have to because, I mean, now we're up to 150, right? But we're going to. You know what? That's irresponsible. We're not gonna. At least this way we're still positive, right? If we lose this, we still have 15 bucks. Anyway, I've been enjoying this so much. I mean, so much. I literally, someone, I don't remember, they were chatting on the, like yesterday's roulette or something and were saying, yeah, well, it's just a matter of time. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to lose his entire bankroll and then he'll feel you know, terrible. I'm not going to feel terrible. See, I told you we should have stuck at 270 bet. You guys always talk me out of the good ones. Anyway, and I posted in there, if at the if YouTube said to me and I knew it was this enjoyable and I'm having this much fun and with the Discord and live streaming said, at the end of the year, you have to forfeit the $30,000, I would do it. Swear. 
this has been a blast. So I'm not going to cry a bit if if I lose the thirty thousand dollars. I'll still I'll be like fuck, but I'll still have a smile on my face, and it won't be a big deal, and I'm not going to lose any sleep over it that night. So I'm not going to feel terrible, but I am playing. I am going to play more conscious. I'm not going to try to swim down the two to four thousand dollar bet hole. Um, I think we went to a thousand dollar bet today. Okay, okay, there we go. Up at 240. Now, come on now. So, what I've been thinking, I've been having so much fun. This last month, I've been seriously considering just, um, you know, I've been working. I got a great job. Um, they pay me very well. Got good benefits. I've been thinking about quitting and just focusing on this and focusing on the Discord channel, learning how to live stream, branching out into some of the other games, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. And focus on growing the channel. I mean, I think we're kind of stagnant. We're just below 5,000, I think. Oh, my goodness. She just won't let us leave. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm in a position where I should have been retired and I was retired, but I don't know. I, I like where I, I like the people I work with too. We're all remote, but there's some people that I very, very much enjoy. So I don't know. We'll see. Someone brought up in the chat about setting up member tiers in YouTube. I, I don't know. I have to even look at that. I don't even know. I mean, I sort of get the concept, but I don't know what the advantage of member tiers are. I don't know what I could possibly offer anybody to say, yeah, I'd like to be a... Nice, okay. We're going to go back down. 134. So, uh, yeah, I just need some more time to figure that stuff out. So we'll see what happens. I've just, man, I've been thoroughly enjoying this. Thank you, everyone, so much. And on Discord, man, there's so many people with great knowledge. So you can go in there and ask questions. And there's so many people who can help you out. I love that. That you can go in there and promote your channel. And I want you to promote. Promote the shit out of your channel. I will promote your channel. All right, back to even. Durr. Could we possibly get three in a row here? Yeah, please promote. I I don't know how other channels feel about it, but the more the merrier. I, I don't believe that. You're not stuck with watching one channel, right? You can subscribe to as many channels as you want. So. There's no limit or boundaries on love. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can pu push through this. No, no. 29 again? Grr, I don't like her. Look at that smug look as if she knows she just made me lose. <laughs> oh, making us work. Making us work for this one. Damn it, we're now at 27 minutes. All right, I'm hoping we can finish this in 30 minutes. Uh, my goal is to be under an hour. So we, we can go up to 40 minutes and be under an hour for this today's session and get to 600, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow, Ryan bet one. He won one point one thousand one hundred and seventy dollars. Nice job, Ryan. Gutsy, bud. Gutsy. I like that. All right. Tommy, have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know why that popped in my head. That suddenly just, 
Leslie Nielsen, it just popped in my head. He's in the front of the contest. <laughs> what a great movie. What a fucking great movie that is. Okay, come on. Phew. I just saw the two for a second in the red, and I was just like, if that's, you know, or a two, and I was thinking, is that 29? Okay. Seventh time is a charm? I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Come on now. Come on. Break us through. Don't make us do this anymore. I have a good feeling about this one. I have a good feeling about this one. Let's go. Come on. Some good UFC fights coming on this weekend, right? Oh. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Maybe one, three, four was a bad decision. I feel like as soon as I switch over to one, two, three. It's ridiculous. I tell you what we're going to do. We win this one. We're going to leave it at 270 and forget that third spin. And I haven't seen in the chat that one obnoxious guy who was always posting about having to bet on zero and why. See, look at the history, man. All right, there's a win. Look at the history. So few zeros. I mean, I haven't, I'm not even sure I've seen a zero today. Look at that. This is weird when it does that. Even though it shows 270, I know it, the bet is there, but it doesn't show it. Anyway, my friend, I don't remember who you are. I don't think I remember who you are. I don't know. Was it six line forever? I wrote you down. That's how, how obnoxious you were. But where's zero? And what I loved about your comments was you were like, see, zero, zero. And you were talking about how you lost all this money and you were down, down to your final bet and you put it on zero and you won. Oh, This is outrageous. And I'm being stubborn on the, but man, it just hit 23. I don't know. Reverse, but it hit 27. All right, here we go. Come on now. Come on now. I was about just to bump it up to a thousand and give it one spin, but This is all on black version two. <sighs> oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna do one more spin. I'm gonna do one more spin with this. I, I, I just, this is craziness. This is craziness. We were we were like 15 bucks away, weren't we? 30 bucks away. $15 away from our goal. <laughs> and then it just went all downhill from there. Okay. But we get to do this whole thing over again. Mm. Good thing we didn't switch to reverse. I was thinking about going reverse. 23 here. But then there was a 27, which is first. So that's why I'm just going to stay. I mean, I don't think there's any good. I think I don't think there's any good. I would love to say, I know it's all random anyway, but in our heads, right, we like to see the patterns. At least I do. And maybe there are patterns. I don't know. I'm not convinced either way or another. I do think... It just happens to be that you see a dealer and they a lot of them happen to spin the same areas. I don't know. I don't think it's on purpose, but. <laughs> okay. 1,335. We're done with her for the day. We're down 1,035 because of our other $300. 
We're going to take a pause. We're going to come back and we're going to win this back. All right. Cheers. All right. We're back for let's see if we can dig ourselves out of this freaking hole. That was a 30. We're going to go reverse. And you know what? Fuck it. We're going in for two thousand one hundred and sixty dollars. Let's go. All right. Woo. Come on, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. And I'm risking that first spin curse on $2,160. Yes, I am stupid sometimes. All right, let's go. Come on now. Come on. Yes. All right, there's one. That's the good news. The bad news is we got to do it again. <laughs> All right. At least if we lose this one, hey, at least we get we're not as bad off as we were before this on the on the first 2160 spin, right? So what does this give us? $720 profit? Yeah. So 720. So at least if we get this, we're back up from this session and we'd be 300 plus another 100 we'd be up almost $400 and we can go back down to 135 so come on let us have this one get us out of trouble in these two spins let's roll yes goo that's nice that's nice all right now we're down i mean after you do $2000 spins Betting 135, that's like, feels like sofa change, right? <laughs> I don't know. Yes. The thrill of live roulette. I figure if I'm going to bet $2,000, I mean, I bet more than that on the digital roulette day before two or whatever. If I can do that and put my faith in a computer, I can sure as hell bet $2,000 here, right? All right, let's see if we can get up to 300 here, which would give us our $600 for the day, which would be great. We're at 36 minutes. I was hoping to get to our first session went 20 minutes for to 300. I was hoping to get this one in under 40 minutes so we could have a one hour session that would go to $600, sort of a double, a double daily, daily double. But I don't think we'll get there, but I, hopefully, we won't be too far past it. And actually, four spins. Actually, if we were to win all four spins, we'd be pretty damn close. All right. Swelly, Max, is are, are is everybody able? Oh, of course not. Is everybody able to comment right now, or is this is everybody muted? Uh, people can chat. And I can read them out to you if you want. Okay, if there's anything, or, or just let them talk if there's if everybody's good. I don't. Okay, if anybody wants to talk, just say something in the uh, streaming chat, and we'll unmute you. Okay, sure. Now, if I were a smart man, which I'm not, I would stop right now and take my 300 plus 15 and. After just being down 1,335. But I think you guys all know what a fool I am. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was going to hit that, too. <laughs> Good thing it had some English on that bad boy. Oh man. Is that magnetic spin? Yeah, that magnetic spin. <laughs> you know, people were talking about that one crazy spin um I don't know, 4 or 5 days ago where it landed and it seemed to settle and then it just jumped like seven numbers away. And I went and I've been trying to play it in slow motion and the thing I'm thinking, I mean, there's got to be so much English on that ball as it's going. I mean, that's just a guess. That when you think it's settling, I mean, and it's not a very heavy ball, so it's going to bounce around a lot, but I don't know. I, I still don't buy into the magnets, but okay, 32, saved by the bell again. We love 32. 
All right, let's see if we can break this. Man, look at, I mean, look at this. If, every, if you guys look at this, I mean, it's just been crazy. Win two, lose one. Win two, lose one. That was the whole story of this session, other than when we got all the way up here to 285, and all we needed was one more win. It's always one more win. Even when we get to 300, I'm going to be probably back for another session tonight. <laughs> Right, right. Spend all my time. Kidding. Right. Oh, see, look at this. Win two, lose one. Win two. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. 27, 32, 21, 14. We'll give this one one more go. I'm thinking about switching 134. But last time we did that, we went 134, got us in this fucking hole. All right. I mean, this, we've had some pretty good days, and actually this morning was super easy. So I told you, pendulum has got to swing the other direction sooner or later. And it's and in our case, it's not a pendulum. It's a freaking guillotine. So let's see if we can push past this. Of course not. Of course not. Oh, my gosh. All right. Is that a 270? It was, wasn't it? All right, let's roll. Come on now. Come on now. Zam. Lucky number seven coming up. Lucky number seven coming up. I think we got eight last time, right? Yeah. <laughs> last time you said that. Come on. Are we talking about on this or ever in my life? If it's, yeah, if it's this, the highest I went was the 4,000, what is that, 4,320? And I did that three times in a row on day two and then dropped it down from there. So yeah, it has been 4,320 three times in a row on day two. The largest bets I've ever done on bet online was I was playing two dozens and I put 5,000 on each dozen. So I was betting $10,000. Oh I did that two spins in a row and won both. So I couldn't even watch. I, I, put the, I put the bets down and I had to walk into the other room and wait to hear if I would get the bling, which is a win, or nothing, silence. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's... That was yeah, ten thousand is on a on a gambling on a table bet. Um, so yeah, yeah, and you you definitely have to be confident that you're okay losing that money. Cause, I mean, with my luck, usually on double dozens, I don't even know why I was being so fucking stupid. Cause I always lose on two dozens. I don't know why. It's it's been my Achilles heel. But that day, I think what happened is I went into the high limit on Bet Online has a table like the other table where it has high limits. And uh, although all Bet Online tables let you play any strategy you want, unlike this one here. All right, there we go. Come on, let's keep going. So I went into that high limit table and I looked, and it was literally like 10 or 11 in a row, second and third dozen. So you can either think of it going, it's gonna hop the other way. I'm more of a ride. I'm a more of a ride the uh, ride the wave kind of guy. So I said, let's roll. And I just <laughs> I don't even know what that was, but <laughs> all right, let's go. Come on, 150. We need a couple wins here now. Take us home. Four wins is what we were looking for. Not even that many. All right, there's one. Good. Breaking the ceiling. Okay. And I'm really going to learn, figure out how we live stream. Not Now that I have the, now that you fellas have given me how to do this on 
Discord. I would love to see how to do it. And I still have to figure out what that whole premiere is about. I was reading it. It's like you can record your video, but then you do premiere where some people get to see it. I don't know. It's like a trailer. It's like a trailer? It's like a movie trailer to your video. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you as your TV and your TV, you, have, you see something playing at six. And this is like an hour. You know what I mean? No. You watch through the whole thing, but you can't take a slide because it's like premiering, but you can't like fast forward it on like a YouTube video. So is it live though? I, I'm streaming it live, but only... No, it's, it's already a video that you recorded. Okay. And then you just put it on air, kind of like live at a certain time. And people are going to be able to to watch it as it's going through right now. Like, let's say oh, like, I see. So if it's an hour video, they can watch it at, at the moment it starts, but they can't skip ahead. They'd have to watch the whole hour and they can't jump. Yeah. I see. Exactly. They, I they see. could go back forward. Like they could go like backwards, but they cannot go forward. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. But after the whole video is done, it's going to be like a real video on YouTube. Then, then you can like mix around and go right. forward. And, right. You know, all right, here's exactly where we fucking were back way over there on these Andes Mountains. So let's hope. What are we doing? One, three, four. This is what we need right here. And this is where we were back there before the shit hit the fan. So, well, I, yeah, I hit the fan here and then we bounce back and then we really hit the fan here. Whew. The roulette grinder also wants to know if you're going to set up a group play on roulette where we all start with like a hundred dollar bankroll and play at the same table slash same time and whoever ends up with the most money wins something. Oh, that would be badass. So it would all have to be here on stake, right? All on this table. Oh, see what the oh fuck? Oh. Seriously. I swear it hit five over here too, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. I'm not even going to double. I'm just going to leave it once and then I'll double after this win. I, I think that would be badass to do a live session. Everybody, I mean, I guess there would have to be on your honor, right? Because I would have no way of what you're winning and what you're losing and what your bets are. Right? Yeah. And Kev just brought up a good point. He said it would, it's difficult because it has to take place on the same casino, online casino. Not everyone is right. on the same Right. That's what I'm saying. We would all have to be in stake on this table right here or on the other table. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. I love I love the idea. I wonder, we'll have to take a poll. How many people are on stake out of this these all these groups, you know? And, um, yeah. And that would be the fairest way to do it because we're all getting the same spins. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it, uh, yeah, it would have to be all the U.S. But I mean, we could try it first, where it's just whatever table you're at, and whoever gets to X number, and we all have a two hundred dollar bankroll or something, you know. And so you can bet any way you want, but you can't go over two hundred bucks, and you can't fucking use Roulette Royale. <laughs> <laughs> that is off limits, Roulette Master. Can I use dice? <laughs> I thought we we're supposed to be playing roulette live table. <laughs> Cause yeah, I mean, I could go, I, I, yeah, I kicked ass the, uh, uh, the steak original dice, uh, or steak original roulette today did kicked ass today too. Um, it's just so fast, right? You can just, man, you can go fast to get to those numbers, not having to wait for these spins. Dice is 100% easier just for setting your bets for sure. And then just sliding that slider to adjust it however you want. All right, what are we on here? We're on 45 again. Yeah, well, I'm glad I left on 45 a second time. All right, what was that? 3315. Damn. I don't know. Yeah, I missed out big time on charging a finder's fee. <laughs> yeah, it should have been like a, um, not even a finder's fee, a trademark type, um, <laughs> a trademark type thing. <laughs> All right. Come on now. Let's roll. Let's roll. Come on. I need this one. This would get us up to 270. Whew. 
Whew. All right. <laughs> Man, I just cannot get all the way. So we need just two wins here. Yeah, this is a uh, tough sledding on this on this system. Um, yeah, let's we'll talk more about that and see how we set up a play and kind of see what everybody thinks about it. I mean, initially, I guess we could do as long as they're using live tables with live dealers, we could do one where it doesn't matter where you're playing, just so we could include as many people as possible, right? I mean, here at All in Black, we're DEI, 100%. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Huh, well, this is only 45. All right. And this is exactly what I did last time. I, I won one, then I went 135 instead. and um, Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to think. You guys will have to, everyone will have to chime in and think what's the best thing to do there. I like it when it's all in the same wheel because we're all getting the same exact spin, the same numbers. The same magnets, right? So, um, <laughs> so we'll have to just see how that plays out. But I think that's a great idea. And then, okay, I'll think of, I'll think of something of what the, the winner gets. All right, there we go. We got that back. We're back at two seventy. Oh, come on. Yeah, let me think on that. You guys ought to tell me what would be a, a a reasonable prize, a good one, a good one. T-shirt. Okay, okay. Um, with a big heart in bling that says "I love AOB" or uh, <laughs> "Department of AOB" or "Established AOB Established 2024" in pink. Yeah, it could be. I was thinking either I could Venmo somebody if they're if they. Oh, man, oof. What would be the chance if we hit zero there again? I mean, damn. Okay, yeah, either a cash prize I could Venmo a cash prize out, or I am trying to get a graphic artist to help me with an AOB logo more than what I have right now, just in block, and I just want it to be super simple. Um, we got some people in the chat saying that they 100% need an AOB shirt for when they go to the casino. All right. All right. Well, if anybody's a designer can come up with some good designs, I don't like anything, especially on the front. I don't really like big front, but if there's a something here and then maybe if you want to have something on the back or something or something, I don't know. Um, I don't know. If anybody's a designer, feel free to post some designs and I'll buy some shirts. That motherfuckers be it finally sorry excuse my language this has just been a hard pull right here and going down to the two thousand dollar bet ugh, never like that so anyway i appreciate you all i'll after this stress i don't think i'll be back for another session of this today we're gonna take the six hundred dollars and pull you know get out of dodge but we'll definitely be uh, coming back for some more of the steak originals. I'm calling it steak versus, uh, steak for, or dice versus roulette, but it's not. I'm just playing both of them to see over the long run if either one of them seem like they're you know rigged in any way, shape, or form. So we'll do it over the law hall. I, Swelly, I assume you're still winning with no problems or signs of any kind of rigging. Yeah, no problems with yeah, winning. Yeah, no problems. Red day two days ago, but it was like... Only $38, and I've averaged like 70 plus. Nice, nice. So our new balance here right now is 25703. So we're up 1194, and of that 1194, 600 actually, we got another 100 here, is from digital, and 300 of that is from dice. And then our total right now, if you add these 300 here, our total dice winning is six thousand six hundred and ten dollars in. Is it? Is this the third day? Um, six six ten in three days. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna revamp this to show total profit. Then down here, dice profit and what our roulette profit is, because I still want this roulette profit to get to a hundred thousand dollars, 
even if, and if we don't, I'm gonna count the total. So the total challenge is this number up here, but then this is kind of a secondary challenge to get the roulette, the roulette on its own. Anyway, all right, folks, I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna come back and play some dice and some uh, steak original roulette. All right, cheers, everybody. <laughs>